Discover leads you during the season of Discovery at Team Mazda. Transcend Ordinary in the Mazda CX-5 or experience the next level of luxury in the all-new Mazda CX-90. Come by today and discover Mazda at Baton Rouge's Mazda dealer, Team Mazda. That would be concerning and yeah. maybe set a precedent moving forward. If you have plans to be outside, you might hit a couple of these little passing showers. A drug bust and a few arrests made. Look at what they hauled in here. Welcome to it, everybody. Nine News Now on WAP Plus here on a Friday morning. Don't worry. Um, yes, yesterday we were without Liz. Liz is still out today. It's not just me. Johnny and Steve are going to be along here in a quick second, so now you actually do have a reason to watch. So yeah, welcome to it, everybody. This is what we are paying attention to, the big ball of flame in the sky. It grabs your attention as soon as you go out, not because it's blinding, but because of everything else that's thrown at you. We are in the middle of an absolute just gross heat wave down here. And look, man, we got friends out west that it's even worse for, from Texas to Arizona. Steve, you've talked about that, uh, that heat dome that we keep playing with. They're right in the middle of it. It's kind of shifting our way. Man, it's just hot. It is, yeah, that's the remarkable thing, Matt. We've really just kind of been on the edge of it and still dealing with what could be a record tying heat today, and it will get a bit closer to us into next week. Another heat advisory in effect, this one area wide today. Heat index numbers are going to go way up there. We'll give you a look at those in just a moment. But back to your point, Matt, the sun coming up and plenty of sunshine. That means it's going to heat up in a hurry. It looks like in Baton Rouge, another morning where we didn't get below 80 degrees right now. Now we're 82, Gonzales 81, so anywhere from the mid 70s to low 80s to start out this morning. And yet again, the heat index already at 7 o'clock in the morning above 90 feels like 91 right now in Baton Rouge as you walk out. Temperatures will warm up into the upper 80s by 9 o'clock. I've got mid 90s at noon, generally dry through the morning. Not shown here, but the high of 99, which would tie today's record high, and your rain chance is running less than 20%. I promised you a look at the heat index numbers. Those will peak for many of us between 110 and 115 this afternoon. Yesterday, Baton Rouge, the heat index was at 110 or above for seven straight hours, which is pretty remarkable. Remarkable when you look at that. So we're looking at similar numbers it looks like for today. And in terms of rain, we're going to keep it mainly dry today. Here through the morning, largely dry. Temperatures low to mid 90s by noon. Pause it again at 4 o'clock. Couple of spotty showers showing up. The HRRR tries to generate a couple more here through late afternoon into the early evening. That is 6 o'clock, but whatever does develop will wind down pretty quickly. If you do have a Friday evening, Friday night plans, we should be mainly dry. But the heat, not really going anywhere anytime soon. These heat index values will continue to reach 110 to 115. It looks like through the weekend right on into next week. There will be some small fluctuations up and down. Now one change we do expect the second half of the weekend, some better rain chances. Let's take a look at that on the graph model. Sunday should start out dry. We advance this now to noon. It still shows us mainly dry, but into the afternoon, here we are at 3 o'clock, scattered storms developing, kind of moving north to south. They continue down to the coast by Sunday evening. Keep in mind, as we often tell you, in the summer months, we see these north to south moving storms tend to be more active. Storm Prediction Center right now has not really spotlighted a severe weather threat for Sunday. I wouldn't be surprised to at least see a mention of one uh, uh, in subsequent outlooks. All right, the, the Gulf of Mexico is all quiet. I want to point out on the Pacific side, that is Hurricane Calvin looking very healthy. But on the Atlantic side, we have a new name system as of this morning. This is now Subtropical Storm Don. That little dot, that's Bermuda. These are the Azores right here in the eastern Atlantic. Maximum winds 50 miles per hour. Good news here is Don will just kind of meander between Bermuda and the Azores. Next several days should not really bother any land areas. Back here at home, very hot, mainly dry. So 99 today, 100 tomorrow. Both of those with tie record highs. Sunday and Monday, somewhat better rain chances. But even with that, whatever rains do develop, probably hold off long enough. We still hit upper 90s in many areas on those days and then beyond Monday it's back to a mainly dry forecast Tuesday through Friday highs again upper 90s to near 100 degrees the heat's going to be around for a while to come 707 let's get an update on the roads now with Johnny H and then that hasn't been a bad morning drive at all we uh, take you out starts out right here at the Highland Road I-10 at Highland Road coming in from Gonzales Blue Bayou Water Park opening at 11 this morning I could take it right now as a matter of fact uh, so we uh, check that out uh, beyond that 
that. This is I-10, uh, Segan Lane, right toward the Blue Bonnet uh, area. We're not seeing any issues there at all. And uh, the 10-110, this FedEx truck's been there all morning into the late night, uh, late night the last night. And uh, they have good equipment. This is a little surprising that you have a FedEx truck down that long. But uh, we'll keep an eye on it for you. Meanwhile, we'll widen our shot. If you're going out toward Denham on 12 or past that, down to uh, the New Orleans area, or we'll Lafayette to the west, you're looking pretty good uh, on those routes as well. Well, Baton Rouge, you asked for it and we heard you. Give me everything you did in the morning show in about 10 minutes. And we capsule that in Studio B this morning with Matt Williams. Johnny, thanks, my man. Appreciate it. So this is going to be a headline that uh, the whole country's kind of following, right? We didn't know if this was going to happen, uh, you know, based on deals being made, that kind of thing. It's happening. The uh, deadline was reached without a deal for the Actors, the Screen Actors Guild Award, the SAG-AFTRA. So we're talking Hollywood and the TV shows that you love so much, the streaming services, the movies you love so much. You know the Writers Guild has been on strike. It's a couple months now, and now the Screen Actors Guild, SAG-AFTRA, has now joined that effort. In fact, because of the timing of when they said we're on strike, you had an, actually a movie premiere. Oppenheimer was actually in London for a premiere there. There were the, the stars of that show actually on the red carpet at the beginning of the premiere, and then they said, they heard that the strike is officially on, they left. They got up and left, it's en masse, to support those on strike. So how long does this last? How quickly do you begin to see the impact? What's the dollar amount uh, that this could impact from all over? What's being asked for? We'll update you, obviously, as this kind of moves along. This will be headlines all over the place. You can find out what's going on in so many places. But yeah, actors on strike joining their uh, brethren writers who have been on strike for a couple months. Let's get you back in here, hyper-focused on South Louisiana. East Baton Rouge in particular here, the school board has now approved some long-promised pay raises. Now, this, this has been talked about, as mentioned, a long time now, how to get the pay raises to teachers and support staff, what needs to happen to make those dollars available and get, them, uh, get it to them. Now, look, lawmakers, state lawmakers, already approved teacher pay raises like across the board, across the state, so that money is coming in. This is specific for EBR, $4,000 for teachers, $2,000 for support staff. That's the number right now. Still not officially done even after the vote last night. They still have until this coming Monday to kind of tweak it a little bit, amend it here and there. If they see something they don't, they don't like, they have until again this Monday to make those final changes. A final vote is coming up what, July t uh, 31st. So final numbers, yes, but not final, final, if that makes sense. The final vote again, the back end of this month. Um, okay, we've talked a little bit about this. District Attorney Hill Moore right here. Speeding up uh, re uh, a reason for release for um, criminals on death row. Uh, they're hoping to get uh, some of their sentences commuted, right? Going from death sentences to life in prison. Now, the DA says, and this is District, DA, uh, District Attorney Hiller Moore, obviously the Baton Rouge area, says some of this process is kind of being sped up. He believes it's being sped up a little too fast. They don't have the resources available, he believes, to look into every one of these things before they ship them off to the parole board. Other folks say, look, the parole board has the resources they need. This is not a sped up process for them. What is this ultimately gonna mean? Is there some kind of middle ground here? Will they have enough resources? This has kind of been a hot uh, topic here um, as the death penalty has continued to be uh, debated in Louisiana. What does this ultimately mean for those on death row here in Louisiana? Will they get the hearings they hope to get in the manner they get, hope to get them in the timing they hope to get them? We'll keep you updated with all of this. I uh, want to let you know about this. Central Police got a bit of a, a training uh, kind of thing going on today. So, I mean, normally you see a bunch of flashing lights and a bunch of cops in one spot, you know something's going on and something is going on and we wanna make sure you know about it, but it, cause it's just training. So Central Police Department gonna be at Central Middle today. So if you see all the lights and all the cops and everybody over there, it is just training, no threat to the public. Just want to make sure that you are aware of that because that will certainly grab your attention if you're in the area. How about this, grabbing your attention? Nothing like a nice hot rod to get your attention. Were you into cars as a kid? Are you into cars now? Are you just into cars, period? How about this one? The Bayou Motor Fest coming to the Baton Rouge River Center downtown. Our Callie Hubbard was live there this morning kind of walking you through and around and in and out of some of these cars, motorcycles as well. What you can expect down there, tickets are just 20 bucks. What you can expect down there, it's air conditioned. I mean, come on, it's like a win-win. 
She's got a story right there waiting for you. Free health check coming your way. Actually, there's a couple opportunities. One today, one tomorrow. This is courtesy of, of Rouse's. They're putting this on. Today's is 1030 this morning to 1:30 this afternoon. It's the Jubin Crossing. Rouse's Market, so over Jubin Crossing, Rouse's from, one th from 1030 to 130, and then tomorrow, 11 to 1, this is the uh, Village Market Street, Airline Highway in Baton Rouge, that Rouse's Market. So a couple opportunities for a free health check out there. I'm talking glucose, blood pressure, cholesterol, all that fun stuff right there, free health check. I know, I know, it's just mid-July, but this is the reality, man. We're already, we're already kind of planning this, game planning this in my household, three kids, right? Back to school. I, I don't have enough time to run, to run through, look at all this, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. There are so many back to school events and plans and drives waiting for you right here. If you need some supplies, our digital team has put this together beautifully. Check this out. There's stuff going on today and this weekend. It's right there waiting for you. Speaking of waiting for you, guys, it is 86 cent day over at Krispy Kreme. Why? Because they're celebrating their 86th birthday. We talked a little bit about this, guys, about um, Krispy Kreme. And, you know, who cares if it's your favorite donut or not? They're giving away a dozen original glazed today for 86 cents that's not bad look man i'll celebrate anybody a dozen donuts for 86 cents guys i'm i'm, I'm kind of all in on this you guys want to uh, want to join me over at the krispy kreme sometime we'll get a dozen yeah it was the anniversary of the opening of the first one yesterday, yesterday. and they decided to wait till friday people pick it up for the weekend you know uh so so matt i, I don't think we have the tape ready but you can back me up on this johnny yeah. i believe it promised this some krispy kreme this morning accurate well, we Accurate. talked about it yesterday, right? Oh, darn. Look at the time. Uh -huh. Look at the time, Man. would you? Well, look at the time. We still got plenty of time. We got a whole other show to come. We got, I know. We got a whole other hour, hour to like, I've talk. I've got to prepare for my 9 o'clock show, so I can't leave right now. <laughs> we all know there's no traffic once 9 o'clock. Yes. <laughs> so oh, my God. <laughs> Why are you even here? Why are you oh a part of this God. show? So oh my bad. God! All right, so well, uh, we we did learn in the donut store yesterday. The original recipe came from a New Orleans chef, though. I learned that for the first time. I did. You I didn't, didn't know, know that, that until yesterday. Yeah. yeah, you're right. We got it. We got us learning a little bit of something. All right, folks. The headline is going to be what's below Johnny and Steve right there. Just be careful out there with that heat, guys. See you in ten minutes. You could be driving Smooth handling and smart interior styling. Just two reasons why the all-new Honda CRV was once again named a Car and Driver's 10 Best Trucks and SUV List. Come see your new CRV today at Louisiana's number one Honda dealer, Team Honda on Segan Lane.